Our experts will discuss how media shapes the sustainability conversation and inspires action. Join us for a dynamic exploration of storytelling's role in environmental advocacy. ESG is obviously a very popular topic these days. Everybody talks about that. Many corporations and government sectors are talking about it. Many are also doing something about it as well. Of course, media is a crucial partner in this process. And today we will try to explore media role in promoting ESG tools and strategy used for better visibility of ESG standard. And we will be talking about some practice, positive and negative practices of company when it comes to following ESG standards. Yesterday, president of Slovenia said that we all have obligations, whether as individuals or as companies and organizations, to do something about well-being on our planet. Media and communication industry have a major role to play, and I'm very happy that at, we, at the large turnout of, of media yesterday, as well as media coverage in general. I hope the media will cover other ESG strategies, initiatives, projects in future, such is the one mentioned yesterday by Vinana called ESG Talks, and I hope that media will educate public in the future. Vedran, can we start off with you? Please, you are a veteran in, of communication and marketing industry. Can you um, do your definition of ESG? What is in a few lines ESG? Try to give your opinion. And after that, uh, is there a marketing appeal for ESG and companies that adopt and promote those standards? ESG, what to say about ESG that nobody said yesterday or before? Um, I would say that ESG is all about truth, mm -hmm. truth. It's a truth about us, about the planet, about what we do and about what we don't do. Two dimensions of truth. Truth about what, what really matters to us uh, and what we need to do when it comes to environment, equality, inclusion, diversity, transparency. Truth about us what we didn't do or where we did wrong about environment, equality, inclusion, and transparency. So, so ESG can only work if we are really true and transparent and if we work in a sustainable manner and we do good for everybody, for everybody. And uh, that's what we should do. Uh, the other part of the question was about marketing. ESG is not about marketing, but ESG can become a marketing billboard if it's not done in a transparent and truthful manner, and if we don't uh, tackle the ESG issues uh, in an honest way in order to help others. Uh, I have some statistics which are showing that youth uh, are very eager to see company, companies to be truthful, about the, uh, their effects on the planet. Even there, there are some staggering numbers like 88% of the Gen Z, they don't even believe companies when they talk about ESG because they see that as a greenwashing. So we have to be really truthful about, I mean, we, we have to be very honest and truthful about ourselves and what we do. If we plant a couple of trees, don't call it ESG initiative. It has to be really, something significant and has to be has to have a huge impact on everybody great in, in, in a couple of words <laughs> in, in, in a few lines of course in a couple of mania can you help us in demystifying some terms such as greenwashing green hushing blue washing in your experience do some companies uh, use media to falsely represent their involvement in esg let me uh, start with greenwashing. Um, the role of media actually um, ever since its existence has been to communicate uh, with a wider audience a truth. <laughs> um, that's why um, they, they were invented. And greenwashing um, is the result. I think it's a term that was uh, made in 86 um, in America when hotel chains started uh, to put little posts on uh, in the rooms that um, we should not, we should reuse our towels. Yeah. 
um, so that um, we are more environmentally responsible. And uh, what it actually meant is that the hotels did that to reduce their costs. Um, so what's greenwashing? It's <laughs> falsely presenting um, your motives uh, for, uh, for, for trying to make us do something. Um, blue washing is, I guess, the same. It's mis misleading the audience when it comes to human rights. Um, so I would give an example of maybe a company who is promoting and fighting for women's rights while making their products um, in Asia in um, very bad <laughs> conditions. Um, so it's, it's what Vedran said. You either do it on a big scale and it's meaningful on all levels, or you don't talk about it. Um, so I think that that's the part where um, it's misleading. It's great that um, we reuse our towels. It's not, it's not something that's gonna be bad, but don't say that you're actually being very environmentally friendly because your motives are profit-driven and you're not doing it in all aspects of your business. So Especially I, if you don't get the discount from the hotel. For yes, not exactly. <laughs> Um, so I, I, th I think that we should be careful in, um, as, a, as media in exposing greenwashing um, because every action um, to help the environment or to raise awareness is good. Um, we just need to be careful in the way that we communicate this message so that it doesn't turn into propaganda or misleading. That's my next question, Robert, for you. What is the role of journalists in covering, uh, in uncovering those who make false claims about practicing and adopting ESG standards? In some cases, journalists are the first one to uncover violation of human rights and abuse of environment. Can you recall some of the major stories from our region uh, when journalists were the one to shed light from, uh, in, on a serious issue of company, maybe Zijing? Uh, this is the one of the biggest conference now in the region, yes. of, uh, speaking about ES ESG. Can you imagine maybe 10 or 15 years uh, ago, it, it was, it was no, no way that... Uh, we, are e we are talking about this. We are talking about ESG with, with uh, uh, this scale of uh, speakers, with presidents, with ministers, with presidents from all over the region, even prime minister and president of Montenegro. So I, did, I think in 2005 or 2006, it would be unimaginable to, to, to do this. So... so uh, I agree that everything is about true, and I agree that uh, with Manja that it is important to to speak. Doesn't matter if we some sometimes we can suspect about uh, honesty of this company or this minister of politician, but speaking about about this is important because uh, as uh, as uh, someone mentioned the statistics, uh, new generation. I have two daughters, uh, 17 and 20. And they are, they are only about this. So, so this is in their uh, DNA, which was not the case yeah. in our generation in 70s or, they or will 80s. They save our planet, probably. Absolutely, absolutely. So back, <laughs> back, back, to back yeah, yeah. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, Serbia maybe is the right, uh, uh, the right case to explain how uh, I don't think our government in the last, let's say, five or six years are, um, are leading proper, properly this, uh, this topic with our Ministry of, uh, of um, Ecology, yeah, yeah. Yeah, ecology in, in, in Serbia, in, in many uh, private or official conversations with our politicians uh, five years ago or six years ago, I, I said how important this is for, for them, that this is not uh, uh, something just to, 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 to check the box that we have this, how this can be dangerous for them in, in, political, mm -hmm. uh, in political field and Three years ago, in uh, in December, I think it was uh, uh, 2021, when was this uh, big uh, big uh, protest in Belgrade and in in uh, in Loznica, uh, uh, because of of uh, one of uh, company from our from our sponsor sponsor pool. Uh, 
and it it result with uh, with uh, blocking of law in, in in parliament and now today this is still the, the 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 hot conversation one of the leaders of this protest is now candidate for mayor of belgrade since since yesterday and uh, uh, and only because because uh, our government and I don't think this is the case only with Serbian government I think this is the case but in Serbia it's maybe the hottest topic uh, because they underestimate uh, this this problem they said okay this is uh, in Stara Planina with couple of villages with couple of old people it will not explode in front of our face in Belgrade. They didn't have a debate or conversation. That made that uh, was the main Yeah, it was. It yeah, was, but Robert, but I mean, I like uh, to, to be on. Uh, let's let's speak uh, realistically. This debate has been going on in Serbia in the past few years. Where? And uh, uh, in Serbia, in the media, okay. the, a debate has been uh, going on, and and you speak about these issues, and I think that awareness has been raised about these topics. Second you have um, uh, ecological environmental issues that are being used for political purposes. Absolutely, but the result of those de de uh, debates was uh, this protest in the se on November and mm -hmm. December 2021, and after, only after this protest, government stopped yes. this law, not yes. after the debate in uh, my conference or your TV show or, or even in, in Serbian parliament. I think this, but is, this it is the problem that it. our government wait to see 20 or 30,000 people blocking the, the main highway in the Balkans and then react, okay, this is something serious, yeah. we have to stop our law, and now they'll, they'll, they'll because we, we, we see that this company is still here, uh, they, they say, okay, now maybe we will, we will reconsider this, this decision. I think this is really serious and, and, and uh, uh, the, this kind of conference and, and summit li like this, I, I, I think this is important to, 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 to say because we have presence of all those uh, statement, statements of, and politicians here, how important this became. Okay, but it, what problems do journalists face in reporting on these topics? Do they have a, some problem? You probably know Manja, that. Can you, you, can you, can you, Ma, Manja is probably the, 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 because she's a daily, yeah, the, Manja, daily journalist. Yeah, well, I, can, yeah. I can say my my impression by it, but no i can uh, i can say that um, i think 20 or 30000 people blocking um, the highway is a result of journalists um, yeah. and media uh, bringing this um, to the public i it didn't happen overnight and it didn't happen that 20000 people found out about nedelice mm -hmm. um, or through i don't know Instagram, which is also um, a medium. I think that um, in this region, especially um, in Serbia, uh, we've been through a lot of um, difficult times, uh, wars, um, economic crisis. And I think that talking about the environment is something that's completely new to us. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that um, awareness uh, of people is at the lowest level when it comes to environment. So uh, journalists and media uh, need to educate, as you said, people. But it's very hard when you are struggling to uh, put food on your table to talk about and think about whether you should um, split your garbage um, into uh, <laughs> biological and, and, and non. But it's true. Yeah, but and I think these things will get happen in time. but. Uh, unfortunately, we live um, in a region where we are late in many things, and we're late in, in discussing uh, and, and saving uh, the environment. If Absolutely. I may add, we live in a region which is burdened with the history. Yeah. We are so burdened with the history that any ecological story is what one day story. It's never a feature. Yes. It's never a month. It's yes. never a campaign. If it's campaign, it comes from the corporations, sometimes from ministries but it's never driven from the from media saying like let's let's do something let's True. let's tackle this issue True. right i but, i agree however I agree. whenever comes history in our lives mm -hmm. whether it's something that happened 20 years ago 50 years ago in the first world war mm -hmm. oh, we all jump in and and we march with the, with the 
with our banners and everything, and we, we scream about it. And this, ESG, is about survival. ESG is whether we will have a food next week. Let's face it, uh, we are going to live with less of everything, less of water, fewer clothes, fewer transportation, whether we want it or not. And let's just agree that we need to cut and, and, and to move forward and not talk about the history. However, yeah. we are burdened with the history. That's why we can't focus on, on future. That's a great veteran introduction for the next question. Irena, why do stories about sustainability receive so little attention to the media? I understand that you have some very positive practice yeah. and examples to share with us and when it comes to good practice and the mainstream media. I completely agree that uh, the media uh, do not uh, pay attention enough to sustainability and the role of the media is not only uh, on informing the public but also on motivating and inspiring the society to recognize there are the problems and to motivate them to act. I would like to share with you uh, our case, the case of our company that uh, seven years ago, uh, we used to be Adria Media Group, now we are Wireless Media Group. Uh, we recognized that uh, in our society, uh, there is no uh, idea what sustainability stands for. What are SDGs? And at that time, when you travel to Germany, Italy, Norway, no matter, people knows everything. And I'm speaking about Serbia. Um, in our country, those uh, terms were something very strange. So we decided to um, launch the first project. The title is, uh, was, and it's, the, the platform still exists. It's a, a sustainable future. And it was the first platform where we actually invited all the organizations, institutions, uh, global companies, because uh, at the time only global companies uh, were supposed to apply their policies, uh, global policies on the local level, so they were <laughs> between a few that know something about uh, sustainability. So we invited them to help us uh, uh, explain what it is in a very understandable way. And uh, we organized uh, many conferences, but uh, we have, um, uh, 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 on a regular basis, we informed about, we talked, we explained what it is and uh, why it is important for, uh, for our society. From that project, uh, uh, we created the, uh, the another one, which is uh, Plant a Tree. Uh, we started it uh, five years ago, and now it is the largest afforestation campaign in Serbia. So far, we have planted over 770,000 plants uh, across the Serbia, and the plan is to reach the number of one million next this spring. This is the news. Yes, it so. is. And, it's, it, and it's, it's not only about planting. Yeah. Uh, the the sig significance of this project is actually in uh, partnerships. We have uh, 18 partners that help us, and that's the reason why we have all those results. For example, uh, with the help of Ministry of Education, we managed two years in a row to provide all elementary, elementary schools in Serbia with plants. So uh, uh, all first classes in elementary schools had a chance to plant their trees with their teachers to have a day outside and to hear about the importance of planting, environment protection, and so on. Uh, so, uh, this is one of the examples uh, where media inspired people. What, what I would like to, to add also is this is one of the rare projects where uh, people uh, could join us. You know, we have a schedule, we publish it, and we invite all the 
citizens that are willing to help us, to join us, and to plant with us. And this is something that is important because uh, our citizens have a chance to uh, contribute to the change. Thank you. Great example. I hope so. You will come to Bosnia and Croatia and all, in all region. Um, Boris, how can media best support ESG standards? Is there enough specialized media for this topic? And in what way can we can expertise of journalists be improved? Yes, it's a, it's a one million dollar question, and uh, <laughs> I like that I, question. I would like Sorry. to answer. I would like to answer, but I would like also to follow the thoughts of of, of uh, my colleagues. So it's uh, very interesting that they mentioned crucial things. Uh, truth, greenwashing, human rights, and all of those aspects are saying that uh, this concept is a really big crossroads of the civilization. And what do I mean by that? This concept is something that have ideological uh, uh, aspect, which means does this concept fit with neoliberal concept that was uh, seen in Montenegro in the last 20 years? And we saw what was the results. I don't want to speak about uh, how it how it was uh, results of those concepts in in whole Western uh, world and, and and so on. How does this concept means uh, and fits of the interests of the companies? Uh, interests of the companies, profits, and everything. And then we have totally different concept, which is ESG. How does it fits with the basic needs of human beings? There are ten basic human needs, and then we come to the medias. So is this a sexy topic for the, for the medias? So when, when people from, from, from uh, uh, surrounding countries speaks, uh, and when you see what are the press clipping in, in all of our countries, how many topics uh, and how many uh, uh, articles are uh, on these issues, all of those issues, ideologically, needs, and, and, and so on, there are very few. So here, I really feel uh, in like participating in one bubble. And also this small area around here is, is really one bubble, because you see how, how we develop and how we use our space in Boca Kotorska, what we did with Budu. So what are we doing about this? as the media, who is questioning this, politicians who was here very, very often, big companies. I saw ESG reports of the biggest companies, for example, in Serbia, and I know what are they doing in practice. So greenwashing, what you mentioned, is a, is a really huge issue. Uh, I came right now as a, as a manager of, of media, but I was working before in, in, in NGO sector, I was working in media. So uh, my experience is saying that we need to change a totally uh, approach, we meaning those who would like to present this to the, to the, to the ordinary people to, to, to show them that this fits to their needs, uh, which will be the, the biggest uh, step in order to, to put this on agenda of media, to, to put on the agenda of decision makers who will say, of course, we saw what they say yesterday. But the practice is, of course, something totally different, of politicians, of the companies, of the uh, medias, of all of us. So you start with the truth. Thank you very much. <laughs> so so uh, then, then what is your question? How, how to put it on agenda? The only you way to put it on agenda make is... Make it to... sexy? <laughs> it, yeah, is sexy that, yeah. it is sexy, of course, make but, it sexy, if, but... If, if you present it the right way. Can otherwise, I, otherwise it will be pornography. <laughs> okay, can I make it scary? What, what, I, what, can I, what scary I drive already, what, change? What, what, is, back green, what is greenwashing? <laughs> what is greenwashing? <laughs> yes. Greenwashing is, is a really awful concept. So let's, let's say it loudly. Who is doing uh, greenwashing? Who is this? Who is using their reports? Uh, we invested in, 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 uh, in green energy. We invested in, in conferencing. Uh, we have gender equality. But beside uh, of the biggest companies, uh, I would mention a couple of those, but then I will miss some of them, so it, it won't be fair. But if you see loud voices of the, of, the, of the big companies or the medias, and when you see the practice, uh, then, then it's a problem. So what is the only way? Only way is to present this as a part of the basic human needs of every individual. 
and then when you fit this, so what do we, what, for example, my experience, 20 years ago, we was fighting against big hydropower plants in Tara River. So we, we could not support, get support for the rafters. People who, who earned the money from the rafting, they didn't want to support us because they didn't feel <laughs> direct interest from, from them. People who, who, who stand up in Serbia, 20,000, ah, 20,000. It is big in Montenegro, but it is big in, uh, big uh, number in, in Serbia. What are the results? What are the results of, the, of, the, of, the, of, of all of those concepts? Is something uh, saying something to me, with, which is that uh, something really doesn't work. So we have to make totally ideological changes, uh, totally new approach of the, of, the, of the medias in this concept, and we have to be really radical. I'm not radical, but the, 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 uh, you, if, you, if you say loudly, what was the results of Paris Agreement? Which states are doing a lot on it? What was what was results of of of, uh, of uh, biggest company promoting this? They're very they're very poor, and let's say it loudly. But if you present it to the as a media right now to the ordinary people, uh, how does all of those big words make make on the street? Small small uh, questionary with ordinary people. Do they know anything about it? No. So that's why I said uh, I'm feeling this uh, as a one big bubble. So finding the way how to present it, how to destroy this bubble and go outside is answer of your question. It is not easy, but it needs very coordinated action of those who make decisions, medias, uh, 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 all civil society organizations, and then companies will, will then follow. So my advice is that we should not start from the big firms, from the companies. Uh, they will follow uh, the, 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 the path that will create uh, in this way. So <laughs> I hope that uh, I, I, I answered a, a little bit on your question. I think communication messages need to be simple, as Vedran said, truth about us. So hashtag of this panel can be change the truth about us. So maybe it will, be, it will help, of course. Robert, let me back, get back to you. What role do you <laughs> build? Yeah, to truth again. <laughs> yeah. What role do you build, Mili, media outlet play in shaping a public perception and public action towards sustainability? Does your company promote ESG topics for free mm -hmm. of charge? Or is it up to those yeah. involved to pay for that? <laughs> for its promotion. I know it's a, it a little bit yeah. hard question. No, it's not. Same, same as this summit, uh, same, okay, sa yeah. sa same way. We organized, we organized conference, also uh, Serbia Goes Green. It will be in June and many other conferences uh, with this topic. So, of course, if you are in media or in any other businesses, you have to do uh, something with, uh, with money and with, with costs. Of course, I think the most important thing is to live accor according to these standards. Okay. So, my example, since this uh, fast train, Soko, was introduced, Manja, Manja was part of, of this campaign uh, two years ago, yes. I think now it's two years yeah, ago. Yeah. So I'm using this train on daily basis between Novi Sad and Belgrade, every day, every working day, five days a week. Uh, many times when weather is okay in combination with my bike, so I think my carbon footprint since, <laughs> since uh, March when this, this uh, train was introduced till, till today is, is on, <laughs> on much, much low, lowest level that, that, than before that. And I think if you, if you live, this is just, just one part of my life. I'm, you, I'm, I have this uh, series of reportage uh, biking through Vojvodina. Yeah, following you on yeah. Instagram, you know <laughs> yeah, yeah. all about it. So I think it's important message <laughs> Uh, to, to, to send this kind of message, real message, truthful message uh, from your personal lifestyle, from your personal life, not to organize conferences speaking about um, uh, ecology and e ESG, and then in your private life or in your business, uh, business uh, life and company uh, uh, to, 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 to behave totally, <laughs> to, 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 totally opposite. So I think this is, the, this is the most important thing. Of course, uh, 
in we have uh, many lifestyle and um, celebrity media and in some of topics especially in, in in some women magazine there is a space to 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 promote and to speak uh, for free of co of, of course uh, this kind of, this kind of topics but i think for not all, only from me as a president of company but for all of our journalists in front of our company the last 10 years are more bicycles than than cars which is in Vojvodina, even in front of government of Vojvodina, in, in front of Banovina, there are like hundreds of, of bicycles and a couple of uh, maybe uh, 30 cars. I, I think uh, uh, this, this uh, must be message from this uh, kind of uh, meetings and conferences like, like this uh, to government. If Prime Minister of, uh, of Netherlands or Denmark or Sweden can not one day a week when it's day of planet, then mayors of Bosnian and Croatian and Serbian cities, they That's use bicycle income, yeah. just one day. We are very, very fancy and very, and very I think on daily basis. Uh, we have a, a director of UN uh, in, 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 in Belgrade. Uh, she's, uh, she's using bicycle every day. Every day, doesn't matter what kind of weather. She said there is, there is uh, no, no bad weather, there, there is just, just, just bad uh, cl clothing for, for this. From not only on, in New Belgrade, from all parts of Belgrade to uh, headquarters of UN in New part on Belgrade. And, this, and she's head of United Nations in Belgrade. I think this is the, this is the, this is the message because she's, she's, she's really, do, really doing this on, on daily basis. I'm sure there are a representative of a lot of companies who has good ESG stories. So just send it, send this story, send press release about your projects, initiatives, and I hope so it will be a space. And live according space to this, media, this, yeah. these standards yeah. you promote. Vedran. Um, hey, stay for my panel, which is in two hours or so. Yeah. <laughs> there will be a couple of stories, good ones. Vedran, how do you approach crafting narratives that inspire trust in the face of widespread misinformation and greenwashing? Uh, do you know of any campaigns and, or projects where storytelling has been particularly effective in driving environmental awareness and action? I know that you have it, you were in Bloomberg also too, so you will have... Uh, I used to be a journalist. Yeah, yeah. I used to be a journalist, yeah. television journalist. So it's all about visuals. Uh, it's about sound and it's about visuals, less about words. So uh, through my career, I focused so much on visuals and that's why they stick too much in my head. And, and the first one which comes to my mind is National Geographic, Plastic or Planet. Yeah. The famous one with the plastic bag swimming in the ocean. It can, those images, those narratives, simple, straight to the point, can uh, lead to big change. Uh, I'll mention Adidas, shoemaking company. They, they harvested plastic from the ocean and they built their running shoes. And they're not, the, they're not the only one. There are so many companies who are creating clothes, shoes out of the plastic. And that's a good, good example. And, and, and I know that here, probably here in the conference room is uh, one designer from Germany, Yasmin, um, she will be later, maybe she's on some panels. She's creating chairs out of the plastic. She's creating uh, uh, furniture out of the plastic and, and it's and it's very brilliant. Uh, another case, uh, powerful story is, I think everybody here saw that, BBC's Blue Planet. That's the content what we need. And that's the content. And that's, that's the power of media. I'm not talking that the media needs to create stories on a daily basis about the tree. So to have a journalist who goes once a week in front of that one million trees and watch them grow, you know, like a, today seven trees with their leaves <laughs> coming this week, <laughs> blossom. One tree. <laughs> I mean, it, yes. However, it could be, it, it's, I can tell you it's a 30 seasons. I mean, you can create 30 seasons of, for, from trees just growing, you know, but anyway, uh, so Blue Planet is the one. So there are, there are examples how media can play a crucial role, role. It's not just on a daily basis, but also to create the content which has a long lasting value. Nice. And I'll just give you, and images, images. 
uh, my, my esteemed colleague was mentioning about sexiness in the media. I, I, I used to be a journalist. I know it's, it's like, a, oh, we have to do this sexy. Uh, but scary helps as well. People, people react on fear if they're afraid of something. Uh, the fear saved the civilization because it was the fear of the man who came out of the cave that, that, that enabled us to, to, to thrive. Uh, it was a fear of somebody else that built the walls, fear built the guns. Oh, that's the, oh, that's the, that's the good one, yes. Greed is, greed is good. One, yeah, greed is good. I love that one. And we have plenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, now look where the greed brought us. us. Yeah. This, is, this, this, this is it. Yeah. When I was mentioning the, the truth, yeah. Thank you for that, Robert. Yeah. It was the truth about our greed. Yeah. Now we have to be humble. Now we have to be really, really humble and not to be selfish. Great messages today, I think so. Uh, Mania, yeah. how can company build better relationship with journalists? We have previously mentioned some of the examples where journalists uncover human rights and environmental violations, but there are also <coughs> many cases uh, where they have used their platform to champion a company's initiatives or individuals driving positive environmental and social change. Can you share with us? Um, yeah, I, I mean, I don't, I don't think that uh, there are issues with the companies uh, uh, having great relationships with media. I think uh, that the majority of companies have great relationship with media. I think, yeah, but in this topic, especially. Yeah, but uh, I, um, there, you won't get a negative uh, from a media to uh, talk about a company that's doing um, great things. Um, I don't think that that's something that's gonna. Sometimes you don't get anything. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't get get, get anything. Sometimes. You, you, sometimes you don't get anything. You said you will not get a negative publicity from media if company is doing good. Sometimes no, no, media what I don't... meant is uh, you, you won't get a ne uh, you won't we won't say no to covering a story um, that's, that's that's positive uh, on the end. At, at least we don't do that. But also um, not the yes. But it's also it's not the yes. That, that's my point. No. I'm as long as the company is doing something good, it's not the news. So when the company no, does something yeah, bad, that's I, news. I, I don't think so. I think that, uh, for example, on on, uh, on Tanya, we will uh, we will publish uh, every comp every press release we get from a company that's uh, doing something good. We don't. Uh, I I don't think that that's the issue. I know what you're trying. What you're saying. You're saying that there's no media attention to stories that are boring, um, but are actually good for the environment. Is that what? Be. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, but I don't. I don't think that that's the major issue. I think that the major issue is that we still today in the media have a debate whether global warming is real or not. You know. I think that that's where we should look within ourselves and say, okay, um, should there be a debate on everything, or is there something that is the truth and something that is not? You know. Should we? Uh, give space to people that believe that Earth is flat. You know, we still do because yeah, this debate too. Yeah, yes. social media does, <laughs> because yeah, it's media. Be, media also, because yeah. we get ratings because people love to watch that. People love to watch um, somebody come in and say global warming doesn't exist. It's all a big um, conspiracy theory. You know, but I think that those are the right questions for the media. <laughs> Um, and if we say no, we shouldn't give space to people that are saying global warming is not uh, real. Who are we to censor? I don't think that we have enough knowledge. I don't think that we are um, learning enough, um, even though we live in an era where you have information everywhere. Uh, at the same time, I think that there's no filters of truth anymore, that now anyone can publish anything um, on Twitter, on Instagram, on any other social media. And I think that um, today more than ever, we are in a crisis of truth um, to, to go back to the beginning. Um, and, and I think that um, also what uh, my colleague from, from uh, RTCG said, we need to question radically what it is that we're doing as media. 
And that is, for example, should we give space to theories that we know are not true? Exactly. And That's actually a great point. There's actually a great point. There are too much content. You're surprised. <laughs> no, I'm not surprised. I used to be a drunk. No, but it's a great point. That's a great point because there's too much content out yeah. there. And there are so many platforms where that yeah. content can be presented. Yeah. You mentioned it. X, Instagram, TikTok. Yeah. Go, go ahead. And there's no filter. And there's no filter. Absolutely. You want to talk about uh, the earth being flat? Yeah. Pfft, yeah. Please you do. go on TikTok and you will actually, I, I'm sure they'll make you believe that the earth is flat. However, how, you, you how well they do it. Member of parliament after this <laughs> exactly. The member, the, the, after yeah, that, the member yeah, of parliament says that the planet is flat. You say, it's not. I'm not going to publish you. And you, you censor them yeah. because, for being stupid, right? <laughs> uh, and that's, that's what media can do. You, you have a power to say this is not news yeah. because somebody is just being stupid. <laughs> stupid. Yeah, Irena, um, Irena, can you let us know what would be the ideal approach to campaigns promoting sustainability on media? Any ideas you can share with us? I know that you have it. Just, I would like to share the newest example from our company, how we decided to give additional space uh, to the examples of good practice. Actually, one month ago, we launched uh, the new uh, communication platform, Eu Pravo Zato. Eu Pravo Zato. Yes, that's the title. <laughs> Remember that. So, name uh, the what is the idea? Uh, we all know that the Western Balkans are looking into uh, the growth plan for the Western Balkans as a uh, the newest chance and opportunity for our countries to join the EU family. And we recognized that in Serbia, the support to the EU path uh, is decreasing, thanks to uh, the fact that the process is very long and people are getting tired and so on. So uh, we decided to launch the platform where we will uh, share the good examples, where we will talk about uh, the EU initiatives and investments, but uh, in another way, in a, uh, uh, from the perspective of the benefits for our society. What does it mean? It means that we talk to the people uh, from, I don't know, villages all around Serbia that uh, changed something uh, in their small businesses thanks to the help of the EU, but also about the projects that changed the, the, the quality of life of <coughs> all of us. Uh, we started from Serbia. The idea is to cover the all Western Balkans uh, countries and we think uh, we need to um, understand each other, to share the content, to fight together for sustainability. Because today, if we are focused only on our small problems, <laughs> we will not do uh, Nothing, actually. And that's the idea. The ultimate goal is uh, to uh, support our societies to become stable, to become uh, self-sustainable, and to be able to fight together for sustainable Europe and a sustainable world. One more, one more thing. Uh, this platform uh, is um, uh, actually open to all the examples of good practices. So I invite all of you who uh, had something to share with us. We will publish it uh, completely free. Great, yes, concrete yes, project. We, actually, yes. <laughs> we need the platform where... <laughs> yeah, completely yeah, yeah, free. That's important. For ESG. But mm -hmm. also, yes, the fact is that we use the power of our media network to share these uh, stories. It's not about only about EU Pravo Zato because it is the, the new portal and we don't have visits like other media outlets. 
So our idea is to use the power of the other media outlets to share these stories and to uh, increase the awareness on sustainable, sustainability. Thank you, Irena. I think uh, we have a problem with the time. So last question for Boris. Uh, please, Boris, tell us some of uh, the sustainability stories uh, your radio, television of Montenegro has produced uh, that ignite change. As national TV stations, how do you see the role of supporting Montenegrin sustainability tradition? Uh, we heard yesterday that Montenegro's constitution defined Montenegro as ecological state as far as as far back as 1992, which is pretty amazing. It's not easy to speak after four <laughs> after smart people, but uh, yes. Uh, Please don't ask me to speak about Montenegro as ecological state or sustainability tradition in Montenegro because okay, that's it. <laughs> it's like military music. It's a, it's a nonsense uh, or military intelligence. Uh, what do we do in 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 our company? Uh, speaking from the media part, uh, our team is during whole conference. We have dedicated team who is uh, uh, specialized only for these issues within our company. And whatever you mentioned, I can say that we already implement. Uh, if, you, if you speak about recycling uh, plastic, plastics, we have these kind of chairs in front of the building. Uh, we have solar, uh, solar power plants on the, on the roof of our company. We have electric cars who are using this energy or very soon they'll use this energy. So how many in this, in this uh, hall can say that they are using cars who are using energy that they are producing themselves from the sol solar power plants? And half of our car in the next couple of months will use energy that we produce out of solar, which is one, uh, one just example. So uh, we have, we, uh, we are right now under the, 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 the air conditioning or lighting, so Recently, we installed uh, energy efficient air conditions or, or in our studios, uh, uh, very modern uh, lighting, who is very energy efficient. So we are doing uh, so many steps. So please just name it and, and, and I think that we already have it. But uh, this concept is not only about ecology, about sustainability, it's much more. So uh, we can say about, about uh, digital uh, transformation that is happening and all of our companies it, not just to, to decrease uh, usage of paper or whatever, but uh, so many other aspects. Uh, what about gender equality? What about uh, environment for the for the for the employees? Which kind of environment do we do we support their activities, sports activities, health activities? We are building the house for 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 our employees, for example. So so these concepts uh, should be uh, used in practice, and we re we are really uh, happy that right now. Uh, our journalists can question anyone, like like you said, uh, with, 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 with people who say uh, flat is earth. So uh, because we have so many things to, to say right now, we can also ask all of those people who, who was present these days about uh, their everyday work, uh, because uh, I'm really, I'm really uh, feeling again is, uh, in, in one bubble. And there is one saying in, in Montenegrin language, stolovanje. So let's 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 go a little bit out of those okrugostolovanja. Let's let's do something concrete okay, and and, and uh, try to go out of those uh, nice surrounding where there is maybe surround. So let's see how do we build uh, houses in Boka Kotovska uh, these days and and so many uh, other, how many women are in, in in our parliament or in our company or, or whatever. Circular economy. Thank you very much. I, since we don't have a time anymore. Next panel is uh, right now. Thank you to all panelists. I myself have learned a lot of from this session and I can just conclude to saying that media are our partners, media are not our enemies. So please use media, create great content, use the tools such as storytelling to inspire the other, to educate the others. And I hope so that uh, power of media and storytelling and um, ESG initiatives can change the world. So let us harness the power of media and storytelling to inspire, to educate, and mobilize others to join us on this journey. Thank you very much, and I hope so we will change some perspective from today. Bye.